connected. What's up, YouTube? It's the Fober. And I've had my Senna 20S for about three years now. But today, we're going to take a closer look to the functions and features of the brand new Senna 30K. This is the 30K, Senna's brand new Bluetooth communicator. If you have a Senna communicator like this 20S, you'll find a lot of the form and function of the 30K to be very familiar. The first thing you'll notice is the traditional jog dial. This rotates clockwise and counterclockwise to do many functions such as raising and lowering volume. At the rear of the unit you will see the phone button. This is used to pair your phone and to make and receive phone calls. This jog dial also has a push in and out and its primary use is to engage or disengage the intercom feature. Where the 20S had an antenna that popped up from the front for Bluetooth, the 30K has an integrated Bluetooth antenna and you do not have to raise. However, there is a mesh antenna that faces the front and pops up. When you open up this mesh antenna, you will see a, a button that's brand new. This is the mesh button. Here are two Senna clamp kits. This is the one that comes with the 30K and this is the one that comes with the 20S. As far as form and function goes, they are actually the same. I can take this 20S and pop it right onto the 30K clamp and vice versa. If you already have a Senna 20S on your helmet, you can very quickly and very easily put the 30K on simply by popping it on. Even though they are functionally the same, I have been told by Senna that the 30K mic has been improved and is much more directional. The speakers included in the 20S and 30K kits are exactly the same. So let's power them up. Just as before, the way to power up your 30K is to press and hold the jog dial and the phone button at the exact same time. Note that the greeting has added the words preparing headset. Preparing headset. Hello. So let's power up the 20S in the same way. Now both of these LED status lights are glowing blue, which means they are in Bluetooth mode. So let's put both of these in pairing mode and see how they work together. Testing, testing. testing. Now batting, sorry. These two are now connected. To connect a third person into the chain, you can pair either to this or to that. Now this 30K right here is actually mounted on my Speed and Strength SS1600, so the clamp kit is already mounted, but it's no big deal, we can power this up. And we're going to pair. So now my Speed and Strength helmet is paired to the 20S, and all I have to do is press this button, and I should pair into that as well. Testing, testing. So that's how you get all three units to pair in multi-intercom mode. So the new technology that we're hearing so much about with the Senna 30K is mesh intercom. But what is mesh intercom? Mesh intercom allows users of 30Ks to connect automatically. In order to enable mesh intercom, you must first put up the mesh intercom antennas. Now underneath this antenna you'll see a button. This is the mesh intercom button and in order to enable it and turn it on you simply press it or actually tap it for one second. Mesh intercom on. Public mode. So both of our 30Ks are in what's called public mode. That's the default for the device. And in public mode, you can have an unlimited number of 30K headsets connected to each other within a one mile radius. Up to six of those users can actively talk at the same time. Your 30K will not save any information about the connection with the other people, so you don't have to be paired. So if I pick this up and speak into it, testing, 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 you can see that I'm also connected to that one. So these are now meshed in. But what if you have a rider with a 20S like I have here on my Speed and Strength helmet. Well, since this 20S is Bluetooth connected to this 30K, I can have these two 30Ks connect via mesh, and this 20S will join the conversation via Bluetooth simply by pressing the jog dial button. And now you can hear me right there. So it's kind of cool. So you get the advantage of the mesh technology or the mesh uh, communication intercom between the two 30Ks, 
and you still are able to loop in a Bluetooth. It's a unique feature of the 30K that it's able to utilize both Bluetooth and mesh at the same time. But there is another mode for mesh called private mode. In private mode, a 30K user actually creates the mesh and this creator plus 15 participants can be part of the mesh. Up to six people can talk at the exact same time. In private mode, the range between each headset is acclaimed 1.2 miles. And head to tail from lead rider to tail rider, the range is up to five miles. So how do we get into private mode? One person who will be the creator presses and holds the mesh button for five seconds. Creating mesh. Mesh created. Private mode. The 30Ks around it will be asked, would they like to join the mesh? And they have 30 seconds to respond. They can join by pressing the mesh button. Join the mesh. Private mode. So right now, these are joined in a private mode. Nobody can enter this private mesh unless they are invited or they request. If I want to quit the mesh, I press and hold the mesh button for eight seconds. Quit the mesh. Mode. So this is back into public mode. It is no longer part of this mesh. In order to request access back into the mesh, you tap the top button twice. Would you like to add new participants? The creator is now given the opportunity to accept by tapping once, or if they don't want to accept this person, they can hold it for one second. We're going to accept them by tapping it for one second. Join the mesh, private mode. So now we have joined the mesh. If we would have held it for one second, this person would not have been allowed access into the mesh. I'll be honest with you, it sounds like a super amount of information, but I don't think it's that bad once you get used to it. I really like the public mode because it's seamless. It just seems that people can pop in and out without requesting. Private mode is a little more cumbersome, but I think once you do it, it's probably not too bad. There's also a brand new 30K app, which allows you to control a lot of the functions of the device. For example, mesh intercom, music, FM radio, your phone settings, all your volume settings, your pairing list, everything can be controlled through the app. You can have individual volume settings for, for many functions, which is nice. I like it better to use the app than it is to go through the configuration menu itself. For example, I don't enable voice commands and it's very easy to shut them off right through here. So I hope this video gives you an idea of the features and functions of the new Senna 30K. In the next video, we're going to take it out on the road to see how it does as far as sound quality and range. I want to thank you very much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the section down below, and I'll do my very best to answer them. And if you just want to say you enjoyed the video, that's cool too. Until next time, ride safe. I'll see you. I'd like to love you. I'd like to love you, love you. I'd like to love you, night and day, if I may, may.